Hi guys, I'm Laura Vitali. Today I want to share something really quick and easy with you, which is what I've been requested. It's something that I have been requested here for so, so long. I've made a ton of different variations of French toast. I've done French toast casserole, but I've never done French toast sticks. So I figured I'd share that with you today because it's a perfect weekday breakfast. You can make a big batch of these, stick them in the freezer, and then in the morning, all you have to do is pop them either in the microwave, a toaster oven, or even a good old toaster, and you have got homemade French toast sticks for your kids or for yourself in just no time at all, which is something you can feel really good about because it's a go-to to kids love it, adults love it, and like I said, you can make a whole big batch of these yourself and know that you have got happy campers on hand all week long. To make the recipe, you're going to need very few ingredients. You're going to start off with some bread. This is just some sandwich bread. You make sure it's thick cut because you want something that's substantial, otherwise if it's too thin, it's quite flimsy. Sometimes it's called Texas toast. It can be called a million different things. As long as it's thick cut bread, you're good to go. Brown sugar, whole milk, eggs, a little bit of cinnamon, some salt, vanilla extract, and you're going to need just a little bit of butter. I'm going to make mine on my griddle, which I'm going to turn on right now. I want this to be, I don't want this to be on a little bit like, not as low as medium low, but not as high as medium, right in between. So I'm just going to keep an eye on that, so let that preheat, and now all I'm going to do is mix together everything for the actual batter. Now, it's really nice if you can get your bread to be stale because that way it holds its shape even better. But if you have just bread on hand, then go ahead and use that. You don't have to use stale bread. And you can use, by the way, brioche, a challah bread, any bread you have. Like I said, just make sure it's nice and thick. And I just took each slice and cut it in thirds. It gives me the perfect size every time. Okay, pretty much everything goes in there. The brown sugar. It looks like it's a lot, but it's actually only two tablespoons. It's just not packed. That's why it looks like that. And then just give everything a good whisk. Looking good. You can put a little bit of butter on your grill pan, but honestly, it's really not that worth it because if you have a nonstick griddle, nothing's going to stick. So I'm not even going to bother. And if I say it's not worth it, you have to probably guess that it really isn't going to make a difference. Take each piece. You dunk it in the cell, you put it on your hot griddle, and you let that cook for about, I would say a total of about, I would say maybe six minutes or so. Keeping this, keep an eye on it. You might have to turn it on all four sides, you just never know. But I do think that about three minutes or so on each side will be perfect. And I don't like to dip them so much that it makes them super soggy because otherwise um, they might not hold their their shape that well. So I'm going to continue to do that, let them cook fully, and then I'll show you what they look like when they're done. These only cook for about three minutes on each side, and like I said, cook them low and slow. Now I did put a little bit of butter on the very beginning, but I didn't add any more butter to the rest of my skillet because I didn't feel like I needed to. And then what I like to do is make put them on a cooling rack because it helps them with their shape. Now I will say that the middle pieces, which you can see this is the middle piece, holds up well, but they don't hold up as well as the corners because the crust helps them keep their shape. Now you can dunk these into maple syrup, you can put jam on them, or however you eat your French toast. Point is, they're perfectly handy. Like I said, you can put them in the toaster oven, the toaster, or the microwave. And at a moment's notice, you have awesome homemade French toast sticks. How can life get sweeter than that? Go to Laura in the kitchen if you want the written recipe. I hope that you give these a try. They're perfect for a weekday morning, especially now since everybody's back to school, back to work, and you're back into your normal routine. These will definitely be helpful. Hope you enjoy spending time with me. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.